Hi, welcome to this corporate maths video on differentiation. In this video, we're going to look at how to differentiate or find dy by dx, which is sometimes referred to as the gradient function, which is quite useful for finding the gradient of curves at particular points. Um, before you watch this video, what I'd highly recommend you do is watch the video in an introduction to differentiation on corporate maths, and that video will explain using first principles how we find dy by dx. Uh, in this video, we're going to use the general rule. So if you're given y equals x to the power of n, when you differentiate it or when you find dy by dx, the answer would be n x to the power of n minus 1. In other words, you bring the power down and you reduce the power by 1. And that's how you would differentiate. Okay, let's have a look at some questions now. So our first question says we've got y equals x squared and we're going to find dy by dx. If you've watched that video in Introduction to Differentiation, you'll already see or know that the answer here is going to be 2x. And let's have a look and see why. So, First of all, if we want to differentiate, we're going to have a look and see what we're differentiating, and that's x squared. So we're going to look at the power, which is 2, and we're going to bring that down. So it's going to be 2, and then x, and then we're going to have a look at the powers. Well, the power here is 2. When you reduce that by 1, well, 2 take away 1 is 1. So the answer would be 2x to the power of 1. Now, usually we don't write something to the power of 1, because that would just be x. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of that power, and the answer would be... 2x. So whenever we differentiate, we bring the power down to so 2x and then reduce the power by 1, 1, so the answer would just be 2x. So if we're given y equals x squared, dy by dx, or the gradient function, would be 2x. Okay, let's have a look at our next question now. So our next question, we've got y equals x to the power of 8. And we want to differentiate it, so we want to find dy by dx, or the gradient function. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the power down, so it's going to be 8 x and then we're going to reduce the power by 1 while well, the power is 8 so when we take 1 away from that we get 7 so our answer would be 8x to the power of 7 so if y equals x to the power of 8 dy by dx equals 8x to the power of 7 okay our next question our next question is a little bit different because we've got a negative power but that's okay it's just the same technique we're going to bring the power down and take 1 away or reduce the power by 1 so we're going to take 1 away from the power so dy by dx, well, we bring the power down, so that's going to be negative 3x, and then we're going to take 1 away from the power. Now, be careful here, because minus 3, take away 1, would be minus 4. Whenever you reduce it by 1, it's going to be negative 4. Some students mistakenly write negative 2 here by sort of thinking that when you take away from the minus 3, it's going to go to minus 2, but that would be wrong. Obviously, whenever you've got minus 3 and you take away 1, it's going to be to the power of minus 4. So that's it. So if we've got y equals x to the power of minus 3, dy by dx would be equal to minus 3x to the power of minus 4. Okay, our next question now. Our next example, we've been given y equals 5x cubed, and we've been asked to find dy by dx. So this question is a little bit different because the x cubed term has got a coefficient of 5. In other words, rather than it just being x cubed, there's a number in front of it. So here we've got a 5. And don't worry, the technique's just the same. We bring the power down, we multiply, and then we reduce the power by 1. So we're going to bring the 3 down. We're going to do 5 times 3, which is 15. And then we write x, and we reduce the power by 1, so it's going to be squared. So if we were given y equals 5x cubed, if we find dy by dx or differentiate it, we get 15x squared. Let's have a look at a couple more just like that now. So if we were given y equals 2x to the power of 9, you bring the power down, so you do 2 times 9, and 2 times 9 is 18, x, and then reduce the power by 1, so it's going to be 8. And then our next one, if we were given y equals 10x squared, if we bring the 2 down, 10 times 2 is 20, and then x and reduce the power by 1, well, that's going to be 1, but we tend not to write x to the power of 1, we'll just leave our answer as 20x. Let's have a look at our next example now. Our next example says y equals minus 2x to the power of 6, and we've been asked to find dy by dx. So again, we're going to bring the power down, we'll multiply the number in front of the x by that, so we're going to do minus 2 times 6, and minus 2 times 6 is minus 12, and then x, and then we're going to reduce the power by 1, so that's going to be 5. So if we were given y equals negative 2x to the power of 6, our answer would be dy by dx is minus 12x to the power of 5. Okay, our next question now. So our next question, we've been given y equals 8x. Now just remember what dy by dx is. dy by dx is the gradient function. It lets us find the gradient of what we're differentiating at any particular point. 
Now this y equals 8x, from GCSE level you should recognize that this is in the form y equals mx plus c. So this is a straight line and it's got a gradient of 8. So no matter what or no matter where you find the gradient of this uh, line, it's going to be 8. So with that means that dy by dx will be equal to 8. And let's have a look and see why. So if we were given y equals 8x, well obviously that's 8x to the power of 1. So if we were differentiating to find dy by dx, we bring the power down. So 8 times 1 is equal to 8. And then x. And then we're going to reduce the power by 1. So that's going to be equal to 8x to the power of 0. Now remember, the anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So this is going to be equal to 1. So it's going to be 8 times 1. And 8 times 1 is equal to 8. So dy by dx is equal to 8. So if you're given y equals 8x, the dy by dx would just be equal to 8. Likewise, if we were given uh, y equals 4x, whenever we differentiate, well, the gradient's just going to be 4, so it's going to be dy by dx would be equal to 4. If we were given y equals x, remember this is y equals 1x, so the gradient of this line is always 1, so dy by dx will be equal to 1. So if you're given um, a number in x and you just differentiate it, you're just going to get that number. Okay, let's have a look at what happens if the number is negative. Well, this is y equals minus 7x. Well, it's going to be a straight line with a negative gradient. So the gradient is always going to be negative 7. So dy by dx would be equal to negative 7. And likewise, if we were to differentiate y equals minus 2x, well, it's just going to be the gradient is always equal to negative 2. So it's just going to be negative 2. And if we were differentiating minus x, it's just going to be minus 1. So whatever the number is in front of the x will be what you get when you differentiate. Okay, let's have a look at what happens when we differentiate something like y equals 7. Now y equals 7, if we were to sketch that, that's our y-axis and our x-axis. y equals 7 is just a straight line going through the y-axis at 7. It will have a gradient of 0 because obviously the height's not changing. So that means that dy by dx would be equal to 0 because the gradient of this line is always 0. So if you have a, a number or a constant, whenever you differentiate, you always get 0. So let's have a look at some typical questions now. If we were trying to differentiate, if we wanted to differentiate y equals 5, well, the gradient's always equal to 0, so dy by dx is equal to 0. And if we were differentiating y equals minus 2, obviously the gradient's always equal to 0, so dy by dx will always be equal to 0. And that's it. So if there's just a number or a constant, when you differentiate that, you get 0. Okay, our next example. So our next example is y equals a third x squared. Well, this one's quite straightforward. We're just going to bring the power down and multiply. So a third times two. Well, a third times two would be equal to two thirds. Um, remember, you can put it over one and do one times two is equal to two, and three times one is equal to three. So it's going to be two thirds. X, and reduce the power by one. Well, that's x squared. When you reduce the power by one, it's going to be to the power of one. We tend not to write that in algebra. So dy by dx would be equal to two thirds x. So if we were given y equals a third x squared, dy by dx would be equal to 2 thirds x. Okay, our next question now. Our next question is, we've been given y equals x cubed plus 4x squared plus 9, and we've been asked to find dy by dx. So this question, obviously, we've got several terms. We've got x, uh, x cubed, we've got 4x squared, and we've got 9. So let's differentiate each one of these separately. So, starting off with the x cubed term, if we differentiate that, bringing the power down will be 3x, and reduce the power by 1, which would be squared. Now let's have a look at our next term. We've got 4x squared, bringing the power down. Well, 4 times 2 is 8, so plus 8x. And we reduce the power by 1. Well, that's 2. When we take away 1, we get 1. We tend not to write the 1, so we'll just write 8x. And then finally, we're differentiating 9, which is just a number, so that's going to be 0. And so that's it. We're not going to write the plus 0. So if we were given y equals x cubed plus 4x squared plus 9, dy by dx would be equal to 3x squared plus 8x. Okay, our last, our second last example, sorry. <laughs> we've been given y equals 9x cubed and um, subtract 4x squared. And we've been asked to find dy by dx. So again, we're going to differentiate each term separately. So starting off with the 9x squared. Bringing the 3 down, well, 9 times 3 is 27. x and reduce the power by 1, so that's squared. And now our next term, we've got minus 4, um, the power is 2, so bringing that down. Minus 4 times 2 is minus 8. And then x and taking one away from the power would be just be 1, so that's it. So if we were given y equals 9x cubed minus 4x squared, dy by dx would be equal to 27x squared, subtract 8x. And our last example. 
Our last example, we've been given y equals x to the power of 4, subtract x. So to find dy by dx, we're going to differentiate each term separately. So to start off with x to the power of 4, bringing the 4 down, so that's going to be 4x, and then subtract 1 from the power, cubed. And now we're going to be differentiating minus x or minus 1x. So whenever it's just minus x, we're just going to get that number, so it's going to be minus 1. And that's it. So if we were given y equals x to the power of 4, subtract x, dy by dx would be equal to 4x cubed, subtract 1.